Hey there, 2Bs. Welcome back to 2230. If you're enjoying this content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. We love creating content for you and appreciate your support. Let's get started. It seems that there is a dispute between Li Xinyang and the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority, ICA, about whether or not his passport was seized. The ICA has stated that Li's passport remains valid and was never in their possession. However, the disciplinary tribunal report stated that Li's passport was currently being held by immigration authorities in connection with an immigration issue. It is not clear why there is this discrepancy between the two statements. It is also not clear why Li Xinyang has refused to state why his passport was handed over to the ICA. This refusal has led the disciplinary tribunal to be disturbed and to question whether Li's inability to travel was a matter beyond his control or occasioned by his own actions. The situation surrounding Li Xinyang's passport is complex and there are still many unanswered questions. It is important to note that Li has not been charged with any crime and he is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Here are some possible explanations for the discrepancy between the ICA statement and the disciplinary tribunal report. The ICA may have made a mistake in their statement. The disciplinary tribunal may have been mistaken in their report. Li Xinyang may have lied about whether or not his passport was seized. There may be some other explanation that we are not aware of. It is impossible to say for sure what happened without more information. However, it is clear that there is a dispute about Li Xinyang's passport and that this dispute has caused some concern. It is important for the ICA and the disciplinary tribunal to work together to resolve this dispute and to ensure that justice is served. Thanks for tuning in to this response video. If you want to stay up to date on the latest reactions and responses, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I love reading your comments and feedback. Once again, thank you for viewing and I hope to see you on the next video.